Uh, we'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and welcome you to the 1993 Channel 10 Christmas party and I hope you enjoy the goof tape. Keith, Keith, mate, could you just try and do it with a little bit more feeling? Just a, you know, a bit of a smile, you know, like, like reading the news. A little friendly, all right? Carmel's watching. And, and mate, we're pay television next to you. You forgot to mention we're pay TV. All right, okay, okay. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to the 1993 Channel 10 Christmas party. Uh, ah, sorry. Don't, don't, don't worry, don't get nervous now. Christmas party, have a nice time, pay television. Pay television. Next, next year we're pay television. You get paid for working next year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to the 1993 Channel 10 Christmas party. We hope you enjoy it. And on the goof tape, we're going to see a promo for the uh, for the pay 10 next year. That was good, Kate. That was good. Don't be nervous. It was good. Yeah, it was great. It was good, yeah. I think you'll go somewhere. I'll just yeah. get on with more work now. Bye -bye. Hey, baby, you want to go out? You want to go out, honey? For any money? Come here, cutie. Hey, come here. Gothic is classified M.A. and is for mature audiences only. It contains some violence, sex scenes, adult themes and horror. And a bit of fucking on the side. <laughs> Welcome to 10's Top 10 for 94. An exciting new program format that includes... Next year, this primetime quiz show will be a ratings winner for Network 10. What is Jeopardy? They're beautiful and they'll be popping up all week on 10's Tits and Balls Week. Latin thinks the only way to up the ratings is to ask... Is every man attracted to women with big breasts? But do women like men who show off? Their finest assets. It's a huge dilemma for programming. Mike says... Where do you see the queen of the breast industry? But Christy's not so sure. She reckons... You have to see it to believe it. Either way, all these huge, handsome and well-hung hunks all want to ask the same question as these proud big breasted women. They all need to know. Do they make a bra triple H? It's the question on everybody's lips here at 10. But we're hoping these guys will come up with the goods and have everyone watching a whole week's worth of tits and testes. So grab a couple of friends, hit yourself up to the nearest box, and take a long, hard look at Tits and Balls Week. It's what you'd call gripping touch. a little joy, take a little to the left, a little to the right. <laughs> the moons are okay, but forget the dick. After analysing this man's mysterious hand gestures, psychic researchers have concluded that either his pants are too tight, or he is attempting to communicate with alien beings from another galaxy top-rating lifestyle show, or something more sinister. Come on, aren't you gonna do birdie things with us? Much nicer 
I said, well, then, Trish, but Trish has something Bobby hasn't got. A vagina. <laughs> All you need to do is talk to an RN who has worked in an emergency room and talk to her about the things that are I removed have. from the rectums of gay men, namely the San Francisco General Hospital. You seem to have a fixation Hospital. in the rectums Excuse of gay me. men. I mean, I, I don't quite understand. I'm a gay General man. Hospital I am a healthy gay man. Museum, and what you're saying is that... There are surgery departments that have beer bottles, light bulbs, and even a toaster. Now, this that is, is a kinky set. If there is a problem you. there... I'm in In 94, 10 News continues its no-nonsense approach to all the vital issues. In 1994, our commitment to news and current affairs continues, as 10 News provides the most comprehensive local, national, and international news services available to all Australians. And we'll beat the living daylights out of you if you don't watch it. Coming up in Eyewitness News tonight... Well, fucking read it. Bullshit. Oh, you're kidding. That can't be right. And a Kingsgrove woman recovering in hospital after being shot in the... All the day's news coming up shortly in the fucking five seconds. You've read too bloody slow, you goose. Oh, that made me laugh. I look sorry. I'm not... I'm just not with it. That's... 175 Australian diggers are decorated with the Australian Service Medal for work with the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cambodia. Eyewitness News will not be seen tonight. It will return tomorrow at 10 p.m. Instead, we have a big, big double header as Sally Jesse Raphael handles Big Breasted and Proud Five. Come on, come on. 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 Get back, All right, we're talking serious money here. Come to the Burt Newton Show. We will pay you fifty dollars cash, and I'll pick you up. Promise. Just ring. First up, what about just explaining to us, John, some of the, the various styles that, you, that you've got? We've got a massive range of styles, Bert. We've got, um, we want to take that again, I think. Sure. Sorry. I said I called him Ernie. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I bet you're so hard. Oh, you make me feel so wet. Here in the weather division of Channel 10, I'd like to tell you that children's television, it's the weather forecast for them, wet and sticky. EDP, you know, computers. Severe electrical storm. Shocking, isn't it? Down in on air, local flooding and snow is expected, power cuts and disruptions to all of you. Up in news, the long drought continues to be broken very shortly when I return from holidays. Very hot and dry, temperatures into the 50s. Hard copy. Poor old, I mean hard copy. Icy conditions with a late change. But who will be the late change? Finance and pay office, whom I adore, can expect the depression to move offshore due to a southerly front. Presentation, can they put it on? Cold and unsettled. Hinch. Are we allowed to say that out loud? Are we allowed to say that out loud? Not anymore. Oh, well, I will. Hinch! A heavy change moving to the north over Willoughby at midday. God help the blue rinse set. Reception. Several warm fronts settling in. Arthritis, mainly. Still store. <laughs> Very calm. So calm, as a matter of fact, they took the oxygen around to make sure they g them up. Second floor, executive level. Quiet, please. Have a lot of respect for the dead. Oh, I mean, a very high pressure system causing storms and rough seas. And as you go past the executive level during 1994, I'd like you to be very, very quiet as you move through because you never know who you're going to wake up. Videotapes, snowy, very rough around the heads. Sales, severe highs and lows due to icy winds in from the alpine regions. Production, increased local activity. 
technical services. Ah, to bend a wire or two. Becoming unsettled due to a small high-pressure cell. Programming. An unexpected late change tonight, <laughs> but it's done in Latin, caused by a large mass of hot air in from the north. Sport, smooth sailing with good conditions for all outdoor activities. Down in traffic, <coughs> I'm sorry about that, down in traffic, Leslie can expect hazy and smoking conditions with very high smog levels. The only person in the world with brown glasses, <laughs> they not tinted. Legal, uneasy and turbulent. Promotions, very hot and steamy. The bushfires continuing with many areas now burnt out. Well, you can't say we of the weather division don't have a few good words to say to you. The continuing weather for the year 1994. Make your own arrangements. I'm on holiday. This all makes me want to sing a song. Ah. Oh, feels alive. <laughs> uh, this can't be really good. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? Only one video show gives you the top 30 countdown, and Channel 10 has it. Video Hits. Hey kids, if you're a young boy who's into Michael Jackson, Video Hits and Teeny Boy Magazine gives you the chance of a lifetime to win this great prize. Just watch Video Hits and find the 0055 number in Teeny Boy. Tell us everything you'd like to do with Michael and include a photo with your entry for Michael to see. You could win a whole weekend away together and a new Polaroid camera to capture all the fun. Thanks to Video Hits and Teeny Boy magazine. Gary. Look, mate, I thought I told you to get rid of that Michael Jackson contest. Yeah, I know, I rang you three times yesterday and it's still going to air. Look, his buddy lawyer, it's going to air every half an hour. His buddy lawyers are outside my house waiting for me. I, I can't even go home, mate. Well, just get rid of the thing, will ya? For the past decade, this quiz show has been in the top three syndicated shows in America. What is Jeopardy? <laughs> In 94, basketball goes live. And welcome back to Basketball Extra. I just forgot to say hi. Hi. How many times have you seen this in a game where a guy goes up and then gets, gets lost and doesn't know what he should say next? How many times have you seen this? A game won and lost in the last couple of seconds. To do this, you have to be able to do what? Hi, welcome back to Basketball Extra. <clears throat> How many times did you... How many times have you seen this? How many? To be able to hit that winning shot, you have to be able to practice more than just shooting the hoop. Ah! Shit! Oh, um, are you hanging out with us? Are you with us? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not allowed to go with you anymore. The best way to do that, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, he just farted. <laughs> As you can see, Scott Fisher's got plenty of energy left. <laughs> so we're, we're looking forward to the game, I think. <laughs> Just watch this shot, right? Oh! Good practice for you, pal. Yeah. No, great practice. That was my second practice. You ready? Well, I want to keep your eye on the ball. He's on? <laughs> Boy, this was fun. <laughs> if you've ever woken up in the morning feeling like I look, Talkback Radio keeps on telling you what a beautiful day it is. You look into the mirror and you see the same tired, boring face. 
Well, then probably the prospect of spending $200 in three days at Joseph's Beauty Centre would appeal to you. Tomorrow in 10 Eyewitness News, with literally thousands of... Oh, Bobby! <laughs> you are so bad. Recording, watching. We haven't got over the goose tape yet. Will you just hold on? They can do the late insert. I would like to if you'd come back to me at that point before we cut to the graphic of Shadow of a Doubt. Would the director upstairs feel that I'm being very pushy to suggest that would be a nice gesture to personalise what I'm doing a little more? This is one of the 1970s Columbos. I don't like the way I said that. Columbos. That's very... That's the kind of thing that other personalities say on air, and I don't like it. Oh, let me start again. I, I don't know why I'm faltering, because I hate it, you see. Let's start again. I wish to rephrase that. Don't point that thing at me. Next year, Tim Sport brings all the action and excitement of the Commonwealth Games to Australian viewers. Plus an unrivaled coverage of all the top sports with our world-acclaimed commentary team. We'll be back with more of Rugby World and a record score. Thanks, Simon. And put your buff head in front of the fucking television, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what about Sean Flannery's famous line? I could never be homosexual, he said. I couldn't stand being rejected by men as well. <laughs> Well, Simon, you know the fucking question. What's your answer? <laughs> I mean, when he sticks you from behind, I mean, he just can't make it. No, he's, he's got a broken wrist. Slipped off the end and hit the wall, didn't it? <laughs> Come right around Australia to another edition of Rugby World, and I'm looking at the monitor there. It's a fucking good effort after 20 years of fucking... After 20 years of fucking television. <laughs> that are towards the bottom of the eight, giving them some, mo some, mo some momentum when they go into the playoffs. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> we said that I was going to say, Guess what's going to go on the goose tape this year? <laughs> yeah, you bending over. <laughs> on national television. Every moment on television creates questions the human mind cannot answer. Who buys the programs that Channel 10 rejects? But beyond all these questions lies the mystery of the Lifestyle Show. What mysteries lie beyond, beyond 2000? Will we see smaller, more fuel-efficient presenters? A solution to the chronic depletion of the Earth's science stories? And will the reporters continue to use really, really big words? Who can say? But whatever unexplained force propelled this lifestyle show clear across three networks is bound to continue beyond 2000. Hi everyone. I just dropped by to tell you how great it feels to be with Network 10. Do you know, Bronwyn, I was thinking as we came out here, you and I, believe it or not, have one thing in common. We do? Mm-hmm. We're both desperately looking for a new job, a better job next year. <laughs> You know what they're going to do at country practice? They're going to burn the entire valley. And so Channel 10 has to resurrect it. That's nasty. Killing the wombat. Shut me down! <laughs> oh, before we get pissed, I better read these, isn't I? But for this male at least, there's one nagging concern. What happens at night? Dogs, dummies and dead folk. Next on Art Copy. But the reality is... Sorry. Hey. 
but we'll do it again. <laughs> Calls in Australia to bring back Capit Capit again again. It's a miracle! She is gorgeous. So where are you going to take me next? Well, you want to have a go going out there? I don't know about you, but I'm not going out there. There will be no smut on Network 10 as long as I've got hair on my head. Now, I'm the sort of man I don't believe in putting bosoms to air. Big tits are out. The only tits that will be allowed on Network 10 in the future are the size of Donna Andrews. She graces magazine carpet. Tear sheet. A tear sheet is... Sorry, did that flash on? A primer. I have a primer. ID for you. Are you ID? Fuck it. Remember the black latex Catwoman suit that helped Michelle Pfeiffer steam up the screen in the movie Batman Returns? It gave me an erection. There are busy people at Sydney that have got to go out to lunch. <laughs> These shadows are brain lesions resulting from numerous blows to the head. It's no worse than the rest of the trash we buy. <laughs> now, Tony, we didn't see any. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You know, up here in beautiful sunny Queensland, beautiful one minute and kissing down the next. So look at that, it's a really nice close-up look of an Adelaide mullet. How long did it take you to catch it? Oh, Jesus, I can fucking touch that. <laughs> you touch it. After all these years, I do believe I've overcome my fear of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus, here we go again. She's, oh, shit. I'd love to. I've been waiting for you to offer, actually. It doesn't have it all. Maybe it's the speed. Maybe it's the leather. Maybe it's the fact I'm pulling my dick. <laughs> Thanks, Bert. <laughs> Sorry, I went blank. Hello? Big day breakfast! You stay right there. That puts your sand on your little body. I think they might be gone, Goose. Not on your life. Woo! Check that out. Look at the body on him. Garfield spinning the hoop for the Sydney Kings number one. Well, and who made that one? Josh. And he's from uh, somewhere in New South Wales. And how are things going over there? Not too good, but I've got my cordial cocktail here, and all those people have won. Uh, what did they win? They won a pack from uh, somebody. Uh, gosh. <laughs> Hey, 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 you. Oh, hang on, Patron. Patron. Almost everybody can. Hey, Carl, we've got to find the lead. Yeah, right. Sorry, I've got 15 there. I used to be able to do it with the dog on the yo-yo, but this is a bit different. That'll be $10, thank you. I'll be in Perth for a week to present Hinch from the Channel 7 and the Mellow for you. Whoa, on Sunday night, there's only one rule. Just watch The Simpsons and late for school. If it's last you want, then ten's the one. Cause man, we got ten times the fun. Ten times the fun. Now rock it on. Ten times the fun. Let's do the song. Three times the fun. Ten times the fun. Time to rock, get on. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I heard that. Bart. Eat my shorts. I think you're pretty sexy. Really? Yeah. Really? Here we go. Time to rock it. Take it away, Bond. Uh oh, here comes Rob.
Now the shadow trend, the treasurer, Alexander Blavre. Yes, oh, I'd love to be, yeah, oh, well, oh, I've got to go, thank you. Well, I'm sure you'll agree with me after seeing that tape, there's no way Channel 10 can lose. Now, on a less serious note, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and thank you very much for your work and your support this year. I have another exciting, speaking of the new year, I have another exciting announcement to make. Uh, and that is the announcement of a new chief engineer for pay TV, and that is Mr. Tim Bailey. Thank you very much. Knucklehead, how many times have I told you that the red socket goes in the blue hole and the blue socket goes in the red hole? Oh, good, yes. Welcome back. Oh, she's on the phone.
she was filled in the fi she was film a film star in 1893 and so did she that was just one of the tributes paid today to legendary actress Lillian Gish she died at the age of 99 <laughs> And welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the break. Yes, got yourselves a nice cup of tea or something. And maybe a biscuit. Mmm, a biscuit would be nice. A Monte Carlo cream or... Scotch finger. Scotch finger, yes. Well, last week, you'll remember our evening special news report uncovered the dubious... Unsavoury. Deceitful... Scabrous. Pathetic. And alarmingly common practice. Padding out news bulletins. And we have an overwhelming demand. We'll be presenting that report again tonight and every night this week. Big time by starring in the US comedy show Saturday Night Live. I talked to Dan when we spoke... Oh. Sorry. I wish we had a fucking idiot. Here we go. Number three. <laughs> Charles Keating III has been sentenced to prison for his role in the failure of Lincoln Savings and Loan. He received an eight-year term and was ordered to pay $97 million in restitution yesterday in Los Angeles. Keating and his father were convicted of cheating investors out of nearly $200 million. Norway's Environment Minister has confirmed that he used insulting language about Britain's Environment Secretary John Gunner. At an election rally, Mr. Torbjörn Benson accused Britain of causing acid rain and then called Mr. Gunner the biggest shitbag I've ever met in my life. That's Padding Out News Bulletin's A Special Report. And just recapping those adjectives from earlier, they were dubious, unsavoury, deceitful, scabrous, pathetic and alarming and common. Please, will you please give us a teleprompter? Here we go. Dan Oakwood... Dan Aykroyd is right. Give of the second of them have been conducted with close assistance and cooperation yes. from the police service. And we are hopeful of highly Sorry. positive. What do you hear like a fucking children? Just put it against their foot each. What do you grow up? Worry about? You grow up. Who's your idiot? idiot? I say up there on the cliff, you were playing like a little fucking children there. Yeah. Not telling you, like, don't tell each other, don't tell each other, don't tell them. Everybody finds out anyway. Yeah? So why do you do that? Who gives a shit what I do? Hey? I do give a shit. Well, who gives a shit what you fucking well, why do? Why don't you put me in? Why don't you don't let me in? in? Just pull your head in. you got, huh? Most of the victims have been picked up at inner city railway stations particularly here at Central, where the attacker grabs six of his victims. Oh, why are we here? God, get fucked. Get stuff. Oh, bloody... And recapping those biscuits, they were Monte Carlo cream <laughs> and Scotch finger. It's a show which has launched scores of talents into orbit. Huh? He said that was a bonus. I can do that, nurse. Sorry, hello. Testing. Yeah. I'll put that in the next bit after. Thank you. That's nice. I like that look. Where'd you get that from? Where'd it come from? <laughs> but now to tonight's very special report, fried sausages. Dinner or death trap? <laughs> In this fry pan, there's about half a kilo of Epping sausages. Some have burst out of their skins. All of them are spraying burning hot fat in a 20 centimetre radius around the pan. Saturday Night Live is a TV hit. Look, can we rewind the whole thing? I'm not going to do this. 
fuck it, I can I can't be bothered. We'll just send them the tapes. I can't be bothered. It's just too much. I can't be bothered. Too much to do. Oh, I can't. No, it's screw them. What am I with the last four? In the deserts of Sudan and the garden of Japan, from Iran to Yucatan, every woman, every man, hit me with your rhythm stick, hit me, hit me, head or ich liebe dich, hit me, hit me, hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me, Craig. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. In the wild of Borneo and the vineyards of Bordeaux, Eskimo, a rapper hole. Oh, there, Barney. Too far. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me. It's good, say, fun, but sing. Hit me. Hit me with your rhythm stick. It's nice to me, I learn a thing. Hit me. 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 Hit